Hey everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy XII International, the English patch made by FF Griffith. This is where it left off. Now, actually, I've already done this before, but unfortunately, as I said in the last episode, um, my original commentary for this episode, uh, I, I seem to have deleted it somehow by accident. I don't know how I did that, but oh well. So, we are going to continue right here. Now, I, uh, let me see. I think I've already picked them up. Yes, uh, there's a, um, there's a, uh, a dark matter here. And a Mega Leaks, I believe. Okay. I think I've already picked up the Mega Leaks. It's possible to get infinite Mega Leaks here, but the chest is like a 3%, so you're going to have to use the RNG method to get it. Alright, so. Alright, let's continue. Here we are. And the first thing we are going to see is a cutscene, so let me shut up, watch, and enjoy. So this is the Sun Christ. King Wraithwall stood here. With this sword, he cut the Sun Christ and took its power in his hand. But you're going to use the sword to destroy the Sun Christ. Aren't you, Ash? <sighs> Don't interrupt me, Vaughn. And that's strike three. The third time she said, Don't interrupt me, Vaughn. But you can clearly see the outside back there. So why did we have to go through all that shit? I mean, we could have just flew up here through the... We could have just came up here on the straw and jumped, and jumped through the opening there. So why did we have to... Uh, ah, never mind. You want revenge? You would have me use the stone? You would have me destroy the Empire? Is this my duty? Is this what you want? I cannot. Why do you hesitate? Take what is yours. The Christ is a blade. It was meant for you. Wield it. Avenge your father! Yes, it was I who wore Bashi's face, who cut down the life of Delmasca. Lady Ash, your father's murderer is here. You and Rex! I slew your king. I slew your country. Do these deeds not demand vengeance? Look at the miniskirt! Yes, good. Find your wrath. Take up your sword. Fight and serve those who died before you. <clears throat> A judge magister there was. Two years passed. He took in his hand the midlight shard stolen from Nabradia and used it not knowing what he did. And Nabudis was blown away. Sid ordered this of him to learn the Nethersite's true power. That man swore never to let such terrible power be used again. He forsook his Judas's plate and his name. Judge Zekt. It's been too long, Gabranth. Reach out your hand, Lady Ash. But remember, that which you must grasp is something beyond revenge, something greater than despair. 
Something beyond our reach. Try as we might, Cabranth. History's chains bind us too tightly. <laughs> No, we cannot escape the past. This man is living proof. What is your past, daughter of Damasca? Did you not swear revenge? Do the dead not demand it? Rassler, my prince, our time was short. Yet I know this. You are not the kind to take base revenge! He's fake! The Rassler I knew is gone. You are our saint, Ashelia Banagan. You must use the Nethersite. You must be the one to straighten history's weave. I am no false saint for you to use. Ash. In all Dalmasca's long history, not once did we rely on the Dusk Shard. Our people resolved never to use it, though their need might be dire. That was the Dalmasca I wanted back. To use the stone now would be to betray that. I will destroy the Sun Christ. I will discard the stone. You claim no need of power? What of your broken kingdom's shame? The dead demand justice! You're wrong. Huh? What would change? I can't help my brother now. My brother's gone. He's dead. Even with power, we cannot change what is past. What is done, is done. Okay, the man who killed your father, and the man who killed your brother is sitting right there in front of you, and you're just gonna let him go? What the hell, man? Come on! Yet without power, what future can you claim? What good a kingdom you cannot defend? Then I will defend queen and kingdom both. <sighs> ha! Defend! You! You who failed Landis and Almaska! What can shame hope to keep safe? Your shield is shattered! Your oaths poison those you would protect! Judge Gabrev, the third judge! Alright! Now, before proceeding with this uh, fight, I need to see something because I never actually tried this outside of the trial mode. I never tried this outside of trial mode. Let me check something out first. I'm just toying around with him since I am indeed over leveled. Well, I'm not over leveled. I'm playing the international version, so it seems like I'm over leveled. Let me try something first. Let's see what we got here. Reverse. And remember that this time around, reverse lasts a lot longer than it did in the in the uh, English version. I didn't know you had a kick. You stole that from Judge Bergen, you little thief. Okay, now notice that I'm in reverse, but he's still attacking me, okay? Alright. To make a long story short, this shit's not going to work in the trial mode, so don't even think about it, okay? See, see, see look how long reverse lasts, okay. But that's enough of that. Let's just go ahead and take him out, alright? Yes, uh, this Gabranf sucks, but uh, the one you find in trial mode is kind of a uh, kind of tough, all right? And Redis is just sitting there. I forgot to turn his guns back on. So, yeah, see, since I'm playing, since I'm playing the the, the international version, I can tour around with him like this. Okay. I mean, these bosses are just a complete pushover in this uh, 
in this the storyline boss like push pushover in the, in the international version. Hear me, boss. Do not think killing the Kingslayer will win you back your honor. When you abandon home and kin, your name was forever stained with blood. Aye. This stain is mine to bear, but I will bear it willingly, knowing that I did all that I could for hope. Green and strut as you like. In the end, we are the same. Bloodthirsting carrion birds. Hellbent on revenge. Guilt! I like how Gabriel said, I, I, I like how, how all of his attacks have, like, you know, court names, you know, like sentence, guilt, judgment, stuff like that. So you, too, would leave your debts unpaid. Enough of this! I can bear no more. How'd you get here? You disappoint me, Gabranth. What? He trusted you. When you bared steel against the princess, you forswore your obligations to your emperor. You shame yourself and make mockery of Lord Lars's trust. You are unfit to serve him as sword or shield, and so I release you from that service. Your presence is neither required nor welcome. Gabranth! <laughs> Venar! You were only a tool of this Venar. How quaint. We are allies. The Acuria give men power as a master feeds his dog. It is meant to tame us. How well you've resisted their wile. By turning your back on their stones, you give us free hand to write our own history. And at what price? Damascus freedom for your nephesite? I shall not suffer you to have it. The sun crisp be damned. <laughs> be sure that it is. For what other purpose do you think you've brought us here? But, my lady, I would have you stay your Acurian sword. The sun crisp is glutted with mist, and so precious a thing must not be squandered. Let us use the stone! Finish this for now! The sun crisp be damned. I think that's the first time Ash said a dirty word throughout the entire game. Wow, you know she's pissed off now. Okay. <laughs> Shards of Nephysite, cocoon of the sun crisp, spill forth your mist upon this evil east. Let's see it sky be awash in it that Bahamut may come and drink his fill. Shoulders better to stand than those of the would-be gods? Ah, such high hopes I once had, but you ran and ran and they with you. Alas, the hour of your return is late. Come, Famron, revel in the glory of my triumph! And we have to fight Dr. Seer yet again, okay? If you're playing the Instant version, you need to... Uh, I'm probably not gonna get it because it's a real steal, of course. You need to try stealing from uh, Dr. Seer here, okay? If you're playing the international version, don't worry about it in the English version. The catcher board, well, that's a good loot. That's not what I was trying to get, but... Oh, well. Uh, I want to get boss shot here, but oh, well. Uh, this is Balthier's fight naturally, so wherever Balthier goes, Fran goes, okay? All right, Dr. Seer here. Uh, I see nothing hard about him. After you don't have his health, he sends out his Esper. 
Behold the manufactured nethersite, the fruit of our power and knowledge. See what the stone of man is capable of. Witness its power with your own eyes. Sanfrit to me! Uh, I was trying to get that, um, that maze power, um, that maze power helmet, all right? All right, here we have, this would normally be the first e-spear with, the um, three mist charges, all right? This e is a water elemental, all right? Uh, if for some reason you're having trouble with this e all right, just, um, just um this guy's uh vulnerable to oil, alright? Uh hit him with oil and uh you know hit him with your fire attacks and you'll be out of this quick there, okay? Uh let's see. Now um naturally uh you can't hurt see it while uh while this uh this Easter is out here, okay? So you gotta take Easter first. A somewhat difficult fight in the English version if you're doing a basic run and, and you like, you know, normal levels. But of course, in the international version, it's a complete pushover. And remember that this time uh, in, the, in the international version, my, um, my pose can hit flying enemies. But uh, I need to take out the Holy Lance because the Holy Lance is, uh, you know, he takes. Ah, uh, oh, damn, I don't, I don't have a. Oh, that's right, he's run with the fire. Okay, what, what am I worried about? Okay. Balthy, you're supposed to be attacking the big guy. Okay. There we go. Damn it, Balthier, why you keep tracking? What we got here? Foe flying. I could have swore that guy was a flying monster. Oh, well, let's fix this. Foe with the highest match hit points. Attack. Fran. Uh. Okay, she's attacking him. Pinello. Foe with the highest match hit points. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I'm supposed to be stealing from him, aren't I? Because he's, he's an Easter. Okay. I don't need to do it, but, you know, another higher kind of wouldn't hurt. Nothing hard about this fight, which is why I have time to tour around with him. So, damn, I can't switch him out. Alright, you're done, Vaughn. Let's get ass back out here. So, yeah, uh, folks, Redis is, Redis is attacking, see it. Mm. I really, you know, I'm sorry. I, I didn't, uh, I should have, uh, set up my games before triggering this boss fight, but it's alright. Okay, uh, here comes his ultimate attack. Uh, what was it again? What, what was it called? Water Jar? I, I didn't even see it. And the secondary effect happens to be, I forgot. It is, I didn't see a secondary effect. Maybe we didn't get hit by it. I don't know. Yeah, this is gonna be a somewhat hard fight because Sid's gonna be, you know, knocking you out with those. Um... Okay, I could have swore that in the English version he, he was a flying monster, but we're just at we're, we're hitting him with our regular attacks. But I might have been wrong. I don't know. But once again, this is gonna be kind of tough in the, in the English version if if you're like in, in normal level stuff like that. But okay, now let's go after Sid. And unfortunately for him, he's no longer immune to magic or attacks. And I'll let Ash hit me here. There we go. And you'll be dead very shortly. Oh no. Okay, you did all that. And... Uh, Wow, it did 900. Okay. All right, uh, Dr. Sid, your time has come. Now die! I <laughs> really did the finish the blow. How neat. All right. Watch the cutscene and enjoy, and we're going to end this episode after this cutscene. Okay, I'm not gonna make uh, I'm not gonna make any more hour-long movies on, unless it's uh, like a special movie, all right? And after this cutscene, you will see why I think uh, Vaughn, I mean Fran and Balthier are boyfriend and girlfriend. Okay. 
Anyway, watch the cutscene and enjoy. Let him buy Fena. It is done. Ah, uh, how I have enjoyed these six years. The pleasure was all mine. Was there no other way? Huh. Spend your pity elsewhere. If you are so set on running, hadn't you best be off, fool of a pirate? And he disintegrates into nothingness. Hadn't you best be off? That means get the hell out of here because this place is about to blow. Oh, but there, deep down, your father loves you. It beats the cocoon. <gasps> the sun crest bursts. You must run as far as you can. Easy, friend. Hadn't you best be off? That's what a sky pirate does. You fly, don't you? I suppose you'd better hang on then. I'm not leaving you here. Ash, the sword! We have to stop it! <sighs> I never noticed that before. Okay, so that's what happened to the Sword of Kings. He took it. Redis, no. I, Judge Magister, condemn you to oblivion. His final duty as a Judge Magister. I, Judge Magister. Condemn you to oblivion! I've always loved that cutscene. But of course, uh, this of course means he sacrificed himself to save us and stuff. So that's what happened. He, he took the Sword of Kings from Ash and he used it to destroy the Sun Crest. I never noticed that before until now. See, I'm actually paying attention now. And how the hell did we get on the straw that quick? Okay, so if we got on the straw that quick from up there, could we just uh, use it to get up there in the first place instead of going through all that shit on the bottom? Come on, man. Let's be real here. There's no way we could have gone all the way back down that quick and gotten on the straw. But I ah, forget it. Okay. Alright, stay tuned for the next episode. I'll see you guys later.